Hi everyone, what's up? It's Josh here from Alternative Brewing and we've got the Dripster 2-in-1 Immersion and Cold Drip Coffee Brewer out of the box today and we're going to go through what it is and how to brew with it. The Dripster is a 2-in-1 cold coffee brewer which is easy to use and can make deliciously smooth cold drip coffee as well as cold brewed coffee. The difference in these two methods is simple. Cold drip coffee has cold water percolating through your grinds over a couple of hours. And cold brewed coffee is where your grinds are fully immersed in the water for a longer period of time, creating more like a coffee concentrate. But both of these style cold brews extract coffee that's smooth to drink and less bitter than coffee extracted quicker using hot water. The Dripster 2-in-1 is capable of making both of these cold brew methods. Now the four main parts to the Dripster 2-in-1 are the water vessel, and this can comfortably hold 750 milliliters of water. Connected to this and built into the collar is a rotary valve that you turn to open and control your drip rate. This sits on a one liter glass decanter, which has a lid so you can place this in the fridge for storage. And then there's two separate finely woven stainless steel mesh filters to ensure you don't get your coffee grinds into the final beverage. Now you use each one of these filters separately depending on which method you want to be brewing with. So let's first make cold drip coffee. Remove both filters but put the smaller one aside here. We won't be needing this one to make cold drip coffee. And with the larger filter you want to add around 80 grams of coarsely ground coffee, about as coarse as table salt here, in the filter without tamping and you can place a paper filter on top of the grinds to act as a dispersion screen for the water. And also adding some water to the grinds now will evenly saturate the grinds to allow for more consistent extraction of flavor. Now place the filter on top of the decanter and the water vessel on top of this. Make sure the rotary valve is completely shut off before filling it up with chilled filtered water. And once that's done, you can begin to open up the valve slowly until you see drips onto the paper filter. And we're aiming for one drip a second across the whole brewing time. But don't be too worried if it's slightly slower or faster than this, as you can always come back and adjust it if needed. Within three to six hours though, you'll have a tasty cold drip coffee to enjoy. Remembering the longer the brewing time, the stronger the coffee will be. Which brings me to the full immersion method. With this method, you leave out the larger filter in place of the smaller filter. And this fits into the top of the water vessel over the rotary valve. You want to make sure that the rotary valve is shut off here as well. Then add your water and coffee in together. For a stronger brew, I'm adding 100 grams of coarsely ground coffee to 600 mils of water. Here you can use whatever ratio of water to coffee you like to get the strength that you prefer. Place the lid on and let it steep from anywhere between 8 hours all the way up to 24 hours. And you can place it in the fridge or on the counter is fine. But once the time has elapsed, open the rotary valve up and your cold brew coffee will filter down into the decanter below. For a refreshing cold brew coffee to enjoy whenever you want. Cold brew coffee, whether drip or full immersion method, can be enjoyed with milk, with water added or over ice but I also enjoy it drunk straight for a smooth, sweet, and free of bitterness coffee experience. In cleaning the unit, you just wanna knock out the coffee grinds out of the filters and clean everything after each use, and rinsing it all under water before drying it and placing it back together. But that's the Dripster 2-in-1 Immersion and Cold Drip Coffee Brewer for you. A convenient and easy way to keep coffee ready to drink in your fridge all year round. If you have any questions on the Dripster 2-in-1, then throw them down in the comments below. We'll get straight back to you. Click like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date when we bring out new videos just like this one every week. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.